Here's the Redmi Note 11. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from the Redmi Note 11 to any Apple computer, iMac, or MacBook using the charging cable and not using iTunes. Now the first thing I want to mention is what I use so I can transfer um, photos and videos directly to my MacBook uh, from my Android phone. I basically I downloaded this right here. It's a little Android file transfer. It's a free download. It's right here. I'll put the link below. It's you can down after you download and install it. It's just going to the little green guy, the little green Android bot is just going to show up down there. Okay. So from here, since I have that download and installed, now I just go ahead and grab my charging cable here, and I'm gonna plug my USB into the USB port on my MacBook here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and plug the other end into my phone here. So we're gonna plug it in. Now I need to sign in. So let me sign in now. Don't worry about what's happening there. Let's, let, me, let me sign in. And then as soon as I sign in, this little window here should pop up. Okay, and, and what we wanna do is select file transfer slash Android auto. The thing is, if this window didn't pop up, simply just go ahead and scroll down notifications. Then you see right here, it says charging this device via USB, tap for more options. So we're gonna go ahead and tap for more options right here. Boom, and that window will pop up. And now we're simply gonna tap on file transfer right here. Let's tap on that. Now let's go ahead and put the phone down. Now from here, let me just click on OK. And now I wanna tap on that little Android guy down here, let me show you what it looks like. You can see that little Android guy right there. So let me go ahead and tap on that. And when I tap on that, that window here pops up. Now from here, you can see all the folders in my Redmi, Redmi phone here. What I wanna do is go under the DCIM folder. That's where all my photos and videos are. So let me double click on that. Then I'm gonna double click on camera. And then you can see I have some photos and videos on here. I know that they're uh, photos. If it, it starts off with IMG or ends with a JPG extension, which is a JPEG extension. Or I know if it's a video file, if it, the file name starts off with VID or it ends with MP4, which is a video file. So from here, because I, I downloaded that Android, Android file transfer, I can basically drag and drop this now right onto my desktop. Drag, drop it, right there, boom, there it is, okay? Now what I typically do is I'll go to the empty space on the desktop and I'll create a new folder here. And I'll, okay, I'll just call it Untitled Folder 2. And then what I typically do is I'll just highlight all of my photos and videos and I'll drag and drop that new folder I called Untitled Folder 2. Go ahead and let all of it transfer. Okay, looks like it's done. Now I can go ahead and just disconnect my phone in that new folder I called Untitled Folder 2. If I double click on that, and there's all my photos and videos, and now I can go ahead and edit it here or save it or whatnot. So pretty simple. Questions or issues, just comment below. Good luck, guys.